What is up, my ninjas and assassins? Mega One here, and welcome to the Q and A. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I'm recording this on the day I'm supposed to be uploading because I just got back yesterday night. Yeah, I got back from Miami uh, yesterday. Uh, I was exhausted, and I was you know bo building a new chair because mine was broken. Image will be shown. Yeah, that is my chair. It was broken in half. But I am glad I got a new chair. Uh, this one's really a lot more comfortable. It's got an armrest. Uh, so much comfortable. But, yeah. And, uh... We'll get to the Q&A questions right now. So, our first few questions come from Sesame Shun. Uh, hopefully I say that correctly. If I'm not, then I'm sorry. What were you going to do for your subscriber special? Uh, I'm gonna keep that a secret, cause... I still plan on doing it. Yeah, I still plan on doing the subscriber special for that. But, I can tell you that it involves ponies long long movie movie length kind of things and tea that's all I could say uh yeah so that was what I was gonna do uh what did I get for Christmas <coughs> sorry um like I said I got a chair a brand new phone a watch um let me see a new monitor, you know, just kind of, and uh, some mic stuff, you know, just kind of like some some small stuff, but nothing too really important. Uh, what is the weirdest thing you've seen walking through your backyard? Nothing really has walked through my backyard. We've had some issues with, you know, people, and we had to get uh, cops involved because... And that happened in the backyard, but nothing else. What is the most interesting MLP item you have seen in stores? So, uh, I don't know what you exactly mean by that. Maybe like actual Hasbro items. Or if you mean like plushies that, you know, you can buy online, you know, like online stores. But Hasbro things, um, uh... Uh, Hasbro things I would say would be like the equestrian girls like you know at, like little uh, dolls that they have those are interesting those are interesting because like they're so different from what they were in the actual movie it, it's pretty funny to me um, and I guess the plushies that they make because they're so tiny and like weirdly made uh, but most interesting uh, MLP item I've seen in stores from fans, um, I would say, would have to be a Cloud Chaser Key Mark pillow, a Cloud Chaser plushie, a uh, Cloud Chaser like Key Mark glass. I don't know. <laughs> Those are, I guess, the most interesting items I've seen. If Hasbro wanted to use your OC on the show, but by doing so, you no longer own the rights, would you say yes? Uh, it would, it would, um, uh, my opinions would vary about, uh, about that. Uh, yeah, it's because, like, OCs are, you know, they're, they're personal creations, and you can, you know, simply use create another one it's not that hard um but yeah it, it my opinions would vary uh if i get to have my own input on how my character is used or how or if i get to use my own voice as the character then i'd probably say yes i mean and either way i could probably work with hasbro on you know on a on a thing you know like say like hey look I know it's your property right now, but I'm going to be continuing using it, blah, 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 for these reasons, but not monetizing, and, you know, yeah, you know, it's just something like that. Um, 
I really want to do collabs with people since you failed to get people to help you with your uh, with your special. What advice can you uh, give to help me with uh, with a better chance of getting my collabs? Uh, my issue was uh, with my collab thing. We didn't have time. No one uh, could like I kind of did it last minute, and you know couldn't get a third person in. And I would have been fine with just me and someone else. But the issue is, it took f forever. Um, I'll be honest, uh, I talked to someone and they were like, Yeah, you know, I'll do it, but I mean, I have to find time. They couldn't find time, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like... It's more about like, you know, having time, you know, have, make sure that everyone knows, like, exactly when you're gonna start when you're gonna start doing things and when you're not gonna start doing things so yeah and that's i i mean i i'll be honest i'm not the one who you should be asking for uh for advice on collabs because i really don't do that many i've only done one i believe uh how does the the cast characters locations uh, and plots of uh mlp uh uh, I think okay. Uh, compared to other current, it or isn't okay. So in other pre uh, in the current present show, um, I'll be honest. I, I like the past characters and locations and plot of MLP were pretty much fine, except for um, what is it? Generation 2 where everything kind of shifted to a weird thing Yeah uh, Generation 2 is really weird <laughs> But yeah Everything was fine God I'm tired. I'm sorry uh, But yeah, everything was fine Like I really didn't I really don't have an opinion on the other show because it's not really that important, but whatever <laughs> Uh, on to the next question. Would you rather have 26 okay episodes or 13 good ones? Uh, define good and okay. If okay means like, oh, you know, like they're, they have ups and downs, then maybe. Or if, you know, 13 good episodes mean like everyone like, there's like so little flaw, it's almost perfect. It's like, oh yeah, I yeah. have. Um... I would say the the 26 okay episodes because like you have like you always have to have something you hate and you have to have something to compare to to make it better and I don't like comparing see like old seasons uh old seasons with you know the newer seasons so yeah uh, yeah that's uh, it's just pretty much that like, I would rather have 26 okay episodes, because that means you have a much more longer time to create a story, have a, you know, a good ending, and it, it, it just gives them more time to do more things. Uh, what would you like to see in Season 5? Cloud Chaser. More, more, and more Cloud Chaser. <laughs> uh, oh, see... Uh, Hasbro, I know you're dealing with that shit, so come on. <laughs> uh, no, but in all seriousness, yeah. Uh, I wanna, I really wanna see more background character episode. I re I really wanna see what, like, the m people of Ponyville think of, you know, the main six. Or, you know, just what <laughs> they have to deal with, it's like... Oh, God, another villain. Ugh. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just something interesting to me. Uh, I guess a Trixie episode, because I really want to see Trixie again. I want to know what happens, like, what they're going to do with her. And I want to see another Gilda episode, too. I mean, like, yeah, she was a big asshole character and like, you know... Uh, I think it was season one or season two, and I really just want to see that character again, because it'd be interesting to see what happens. Uh, so yeah, 
any new reviews coming? Uh, d d explain reviews, because if you're talking about, um, you know, like my normal commentaries where I just kind of at the end just like talk about my feelings and d yeah, there's more commentaries coming. Or if you mean by the redirect uh, video where I'm just basically kind of summarizing and, you know, explaining what I liked about uh, Rainbow Rocks, then maybe, I don't know. On to the next person asking questions. Uh, Unibro Sheep Z, why don't you like Rarity? Um, I'll be honest, I don't like Rarity because her element, she doesn't portray it very often. And if so, it's usually for her to gain something, then to just... She's pretty much just the opposite of generosity. But, you know, during season five, uh, season four, sorry, not season five, <laughs> you never know. Uh, season four, you know, I started like you already a bit more. Like she wasn't my, she was my most hated. And then at season four, like she, she came like my fourth out of the main six that I liked. Um, the bottoms would either have to be Pinkie Pie or Rare, uh, uh, Rainbow Dash. I don't like those two characters too much, but eh, whatever. Uh, what are your favorite games and game franchises? Well. Let's see here. Uh, my, one of my favorite games I would have to say is um, it's Kingdom Hearts, definitely, because I really love the games. I really can't wait for freaking Kingdom Hearts three. Oh my god, that's gonna be an amazing game. Uh, the Naruto uh, games, the Naruto Shippuden games. Uh, what else? I think the yeah and Assassin's Creed uh, except for three and unity I hate those two games those two games can go shove themselves in a pit and die but yeah those are uh, a few of my game franchises that I like um, it'd take way too long just kind of say which ones I like so yeah Uh, on to the next person asking questions. Sky Solder. Scolder? Solder? Solder? I'm sorry. What got you into YouTube and MLP? What are your plans for the future? Well, what got me into YouTube was like pretty much just watching, you know, commentators, uh, you know, doing Let's Plays. Uh, Vash, one, two, Three four nine, I think it is uh, how it's spelled. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Chico Conroy, um, Death Evan thirteen, definitely, and uh, <sighs> I'm trying to think, trying to think. Uh, I think it's Static Gamer is one of them. Uh, is one of the like the the few people that I I kind of tend to watch on a regular basis but there's like and uh, commentators as well that got me into doing commentaries uh, would have to be uh, it would have to be sound uh, XX sound speed XX and uh, Mr. Cobalt Sky or Cobalt Sky 7 uh, whichever one you want to call him by um, those two commentators got me really into doing commentaries, and <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, another person who got me into the YouTube and stuff like that would have to be Duhod. You know, his Let's Reads are pretty hilarious. I fucking love how he has, you know, multiple people, you know. So it's kind of like you get a multiple experiences from different people at the same time, and it's quite an interesting thing. As for MLP, what got me into it was I was just kind of skipping through channels, uh, you know, just kind of just seeing what was on TV, and uh, Discovery Kids was gone. I was like, huh, why is it called The Hub? So I saw MLP, uh, one of them, one of the MLP episodes uh, during season one. 
and I was like, you know what, this looks interesting, you know, I'll continue watching it, and surely enough, I continued watching it and watching it, and I liked it, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, what are my plans for the future, um, pretty much nothing to change, nothing really to change much, uh, I guess my plans for the future is, like, I want to work on music. Uh, I want to do some, like, actual, uh, uh, live skits, you know, like, stuff like that. Um, uh, let's see. And I guess kind of, I guess work on, uh, voices. Like, I want to do more voice work. Cause... I'll be honest, I can I can do many voices, but it's it's never quite that easy, to say the least. I, I wish I could, you know, continue doing voices, but it's it's hard to find work. Um, yeah, it's pretty much hard to find work out there for voice actors. So I really can't get out there that much, but eh, I, I always try my best no matter what. So yeah. Thank you for those questions. Uh, for those questions. Uh, next is Crystal. Um, and their question is, what is your most hated thing about school? If you want me to be honest, it is going to have to be the people. I hate people so much at my school. It is irritating. It's always talking about. They're always talking about the Illuminati, and oh, I want to fight this bitch. It's 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 an irritation, and it's something I wish I that no one would talk about because that's an irritating thing. Uh, the second one, your top ten best and worst uh, FM episodes. Uh, I'll be honest. It, it's gonna be hard for me to do this. Uh, but I really can't pick a 10 best and 10 worst. I can tell you one off the top of my head right now, which would have to be It Ain't Easy Being Breezy, which is the worst one that made me angry to no end. Um, but yeah. If you would wake up one day and find that the world, that horses and ponies took over the world and turned everyone else into ponies and horses, how would you react to that? Okay, how I would react is... <laughs> I won! <laughs> no, uh... <coughs> God. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, like, I I'd probably flip my shit. I mean, like, I'd be like, I, 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 I'd be so terrified and scared because it's like it's something that you, it's sudden it's something you're not used to so it's like bam everyone's a horse ah it's like scary it, it, it's very fucking scary so yeah um and what does the horse say it says <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that were all the questions, uh, those were all the questions for the Q&A. I hope you all enjoyed my Q&A, and I hope that in the future you guys will, you know, continue to stay here on my channel and enjoy what I uh, have to offer, and you know, it makes me glad that you guys are happy. And that I get to make people happy. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you my ninjas and assassins for the next mission of videos.